There is no will in the uh, authority within Bahrain, the ruling family, to move ahead, despite all what's happening uh, around us. And uh, we foresee that if we don't reach a solution, the deterioration in Bahrain will be uh, much more difficult to contain than to provide them a solution in, in the future. Uh, because people are getting more, more and more frustrated. They lose faith in the ruling family to reform. And we're trying to convince people that constitution and monarchy, which we uh, bring up everyone together in a political system that incorporates all the elements of Bahrain, with guarantees that no one will be undermined, providing justice to everyone. But this is, this is not happening because there is no will from the authorities. You've had two years and you, I, I don't see any breakthrough and I don't see any reason why you're going to make a breakthrough. We're a small community despite the protests that continuously happening daily but we cannot pro produce pressure enough as opposition and people because we are a small community. The support that uh, the authority getting from GCC and international community is not allowing us to make this breakthrough. If the international community support democracy in Bahrain assertively, then we will have some sort of breakthrough of progress. Well, that doesn't look like it's very likely. What do, do you accept that it has become and became fairly quickly a sectarian issue, Shia Sunni? It's not a sectarian issue. It's That's the what they said ruler. about Syria, and it's, it is. It's the rulers who are trying to play with their political cards, and the demography within Bahrain could enable this. But at the end, the uh, people of Bahrain, uh, the majority of the opposition, uh, political gathering in Bahrain, they want security, justice, equality, uh, inclusiveness for everyone. And when you, when you talk about these principles and values, I think we could reach a political system that incorporates everyone. I, I, I'm not arguing against that that's what people on your side want, but is it not the case that most of those people on the streets who want that are in fact Shia, and most of the people that you oppose who are trying to keep the status quo are Sunni? Uh, at the, at the, in the end, those are Bahrainis and they have different political views. If these are not Shia, these are mm -hmm. Hindus or uh, Buddhists or whatever, and they have the right to get their, uh, their uh, security, their equality, their justice. And uh, uh, I think the card that been played by the political system is to mark it as this and make a PR about it that this is, this is the situation.